good morning. It is a rather rainy Monday morning, which is honestly a very good thing because I can't be distracted by good weather and good waves right now. I need to be inside and I need to be working on my schoolwork. So that's very good. And also it means that the waterfall hikes will probably be pretty good later this week. So kind of thankful for the rain today. And normally on Monday mornings, I TA my bio lab, but my students are taking their tests right now. So I actually don't have to come in to lab, come in, I mean, log on on Zoom to lab. So I have a couple extra hours. So my plan is to park up at a coffee shop and do some emails. I want to schedule an appointment with the grad school advisor at my school's career center. And then I also need to schedule an appointment with my academic advisor just to plan out what classes I want to take and see if I want to take any summer classes. And then lastly, I want to make an appointment with my PI, who is the person who runs the neuroscience lab I work for, and talk some things out with her. Nice pose. Thank you. You're welcome. We're biking to the grocery store. are plucking fresh oregano from the garden for our TikTok pasta. We're on a hike and it's a little sketch. It was nice knowing you. Cody, turn around. <laughs> grocery store parking lots here are freaking gorgeous. Remind me again why I'm leaving Hawaii. I'm so excited. I just bought a wetsuit top and this was a very worthy investment because lately I've been having to go in a little bit earlier than I want to when I surf because it's been freezing and now I won't have that problem. So I was debating whether or not to get one just because I am leaving soon and I was like, is it worth it? But it definitely is so that I can enjoy as much surfing as I can while I can. So here it is, one millimeter, quarter zip, fits right, guy at the store is very helpful. And now I'm so excited for sunset surfing tonight and it's gonna be so much better than before because now I won't be freezing to death after only 15 minutes, yay. I'm heading home now to catch my neuroscience seminar. Um, it starts in an hour, so that's just enough time to make lunch and then go to class. But I wanted to talk about something that I feel like has been a theme throughout college. I wanted to talk about setting boundaries for your time. And I feel like this is especially important right now with Zoom school and doing everything online just because now you really do have to kind of construct your own schedule and keep yourself to the things you need to do. And I feel like when I was in New York, one thing that I wasn't that good at was knowing when to stop working. Like I would always leave the library feeling like I could have done a little bit more or I would be out with my friends and I'd be thinking, oh, could be studying right now that could be the difference between an a and an a plus and now that i'm in hawaii it's the complete opposite thinking where i need to start setting boundaries for doing schoolwork because it's so tempting just to always be out always be surfing always being with friends and it's definitely a balancing act i'm not really sure what my ultimate point was with that but i guess just if you've been having a lot of fun, check in with yourself and make sure that you're also working towards your goals. And if you've been working really hard, check in with yourself and make sure that you're taking time to enjoy life too or do things that make you happy. 
anxiety because it is a balancing act. It's really important for your mental health to do both of those things. And ideally those things kind of overlap. I was working on my paper today and it was really, really fun. So hopefully you're able to find enjoyment in the things that you have to do too, I guess. Does that make sense? Is any of this making sense? I guess I'm not going to the beach today. What's this place called? Uh, Olay's. Olay's. Olay. We're making cake pops. With Bell. our buddy, Pillsbury. Yeah, Mr. Doughboy. I never have the best luck with melting these things, so hopefully I'm lucky enough to get it on the first try. Fingers crossed. Yeah. So I recently found out that I have to leave Hawaii sooner than I expected and to fill the hole that not being able to surf every day is going to leave when I go to New York, I decided to pick up skating. So I just finished my bio lecture and I'm walking over to a nearby like, parking lot. for a meeting with my PI to start and I've just been watching this one bird try and eat this bug for the past like five minutes. Entertaining stuff. Alexa, what's the weather? Right now in Honolulu, it's 74 degrees Fahrenheit, hot and sunny skies. Obviously, yes, I am down for a 10 a.m. booze cruise. So now I'm heading over there. Good morning. I picked up donuts with Maya and she had to go to work. So now I'm just gonna eat my donuts with this view. Hawaii is pretty awesome. I didn't even mean to match my mask to my shirt. That's kind of fun. So my friend started a thrift pop-up store on the North Shore and we are currently shooting for them. <laughs> So we're going on a hike today. What's it called? I don't remember. We're going to Manoa Falls. It's the second two of them. How many falls are there? There's uh, seven or eight, according to Kikamalu, but we're going according to the second two of the two of them. The second of the twice. two of the we're going to twice three of the them. two, three times. We're going to the twice one. The twice fall. The twice. <laughs> if you were to tell something to 70,000 people right now, what would it be? What would you tell to 70,000 people? I don't know, it's my interview, so that's why. Do you want me to come back? Yeah. Okay. 
If you guys were to tell 70,000 people something, what would it be? Um, life is shorter than you think. Oh. Wow, that's, yeah. that's kind of deep and sad. He's just gonna probably fall off on me. Yeah. <laughs> I would say, just try to be nice. Mm. In general. Just solid advice, solid advice. Be nice. All right, Alex, if you were to tell 70,000 people one thing, what would it be? Um, send me a dollar on Zelle, Alex Yee, 125. Why does this feel like a field trip? Yeah. <laughs> right? Especially with your backpack. Yeah. <laughs> They look like Sims. So hiking review, we tried to find the second waterfall and I got destroyed by some bugs. I also left my sandals halfway through the hike so I did it barefoot and I got a little bit emotional. Oh no. Dude, why is yours? Yours is all Yeah, yours are always it's kind of... It's only a backpack. We just finished the hike and we checked the waves on Surfline and they look pretty good so I'm just heading back home really quick to grab my board and then we surf. We just surfed. Oh, I look <laughs> Sunset is beautiful and it was a really, really good surf session and he's embarrassed <laughs> to be seen. The sunset.